come here. Get away. And he wants a little Christmas gift. I'm scared. Easy, fella. Somebody help me. What's the matter, darling? Don't you find me attractive? <laughs> oh, do those impressions. Go on, the right, princess. Right, oh, you're ace. You are, Mick Griffin. You are my girl. You are my biscuit. I'm going to say it again in case you missed it. Will you pull my cracker? Come on, what is Christmas? I'll pull your cracker. I'm coming up, so you better get a party started. Shamo! We've got the whole family over this year. Christmas comedy on the BBC. An absolutely fabulous Christmas, darling. Christmas Eve at five past nine on BBC One. <laughs> what, what you want? Come on. Stay up late! Wonderful. BBC oh, Two every day! Come along! They're on BBC One, Mel Brooks and Anne Bancroft. Ham it up, to be or not to be. After Alex Deakin with the weather view. Hello there. We again have some snow to talk about on Weatherview, but only for the moment. Once it's cleared through tomorrow, that's the end of the snow through the Christmas period. It's turning much milder. Now, we will have some more interesting weather, I think, across Australia during the Christmas period. A huge storm here. Uh, that's ex-cyclone Debbie. That area of low pressure continuing to bring more outbreaks of rain to more northern parts of Australia. High pressure dominating further south, but uh, it was quite a lively storm. Cyclone Debbie and still bringing a lot of rain to Larimar, for example, 146 millimetres in a day and a half. The average for the entire month of December is 114 millimetres and more wet weather to come as that area of low pressure sticks around through the Christmas period. Elsewhere through Australia, though, I think plenty of sunshine. Look at those temperatures on Christmas Day in Sydney and Melbourne, 33 degrees Celsius. Not quite that warm in New Zealand. A few showers around here. Moving up into the United States and some wet weather to come here across parts of the Midwest, moving up to the Great Lakes, an area of low pressure developing, bringing some wet weather to the northeast during uh, Christmas Eve and eventually bringing some snow likely to eastern parts of Canada uh, for the Christmas period itself. But for much of the US, it looks like being largely fine and dry. Temperatures dropping off though in New York and Washington. Miami, not a bad place to be celebrating Christmas. Back across the Atlantic into the UK, and we've got this mass of cloud which has been moving in through the course of the day, bringing a mixture of rain, sleet, and snow across the country at the moment. Most of the snow concentrated across uh, the Pennines, a little bit across higher routes in Scotland, too, and some pushing down through eastern counties of England for a while yet. So uh, there still is some snow around to take note of out on the road, some slippery conditions, parts of Scotland, particularly higher routes, northern England and eastern England as well, and ice, a problem where we have the snow through uh, the day, of course. Now, by the end of the night, most of the snow will have turned to rain, but still a chance of a little bit of sleet and wet snow in the southeastern quarter by daybreak. But as the uh, night goes on, temperatures actually lifting, and by dawn, we should be pretty much frost-free. But it's likely to be a fairly dull, damp and dreary day. Outbreaks of rain for many, a lot of mist and hill fog around. Some brighter skies, particularly out to the west later on. The rain tending to ease off for southwest England, Wales, Northern Ireland, and western Scotland, but all in all, a rather grey and dismal day. But temperatures will be rising. Still feeling a bit chilly in the east, but out to the west, double figures. We haven't seen that for a while, all because of a change in the wind direction. The westerly winds are now set in, and west or even southwesterly winds will continue to feed in some warm, moist air throughout the Christmas period. We'll also have this weather front to worry about through the Christmas period. It looks like bringing cloud and rain to Scotland, Northern Ireland, moving south into Northern England on Christmas Eve. Elsewhere, though, largely dry, rather grey to the south, but temperatures again up into double figures. That weather front pushing a little bit further south on Christmas Day. The far south may stay dry, brighter skies with some showers to the north. The only snow, though, over the tops of the Scottish mountains. Good night. Great movies this Christmas on BBC One. This is the story of a